If you've just purchased your digital planner or notebook, the steps to import it into your PDF markup app are really simple and I'm going to walk you through them today. I'm going to be showing this in the GoodNotes app, but the steps in all of the major PDF markup apps are fairly similar. Um, if you need any help with your specific app, don't hesitate to drop me a message or a quick Google search usually brings up some really helpful tutorial videos for all of the major apps. So let's get started. Now there are um, two possible places that you may have shopped with me. One is Etsy. If you purchased your planner on Etsy, uh, you can log into Etsy and tap you, purchases and reviews, and there you'll see the option to download your files. You also should have received these files in an email. So the one thing that I'll note here is you have to download your files through the browser of Etsy.com. Uh, downloads are not enabled right now through the mobile app. So if you're trying to download directly from your iPad, just know that you'll have to open Safari and put in Etsy.com and log in that way, um, not through your mobile app. And so it's that simple. Um, you can download the files right here. And um, on all of these downloads, when you tap the download button, you have the option to open it in GoodNotes um, directly from the screen. But what I actually recommend is to save each of the files to your files, whether you save it to your iPad drive or some sort of cloud storage drive, um, because you really want to back up these files somewhere that you can access them. Uh, don't rely on kind of the download systems um, to, to keep them archived there. Make sure that you're archiving your files in your own personal drives, especially with the notebooks. You might want to use this file over and over again to import it. Um, so just don't rely on Etsy or my site to manage your files for you. Download them to your drive. So again, I'll be showing um, the steps when you save them to your files or save them to your own drive. Um, but do be aware if you're looking for a quick shortcut, uh, when you open the files, you usually do have the option to kind of open it directly in GoodNotes right here. So those are the steps from Etsy. If you purchase directly on my website shop, then you'll receive an email to the email address that you used for your purchase, and that email will have a link to your downloads. Click on that link and it'll take you to a screen just like this one, and you'll just tap Download Now. If you're on a desktop computer, it'll open just as a PDF. If you're on a tablet or an iPad, you may have to choose which specific app uh, for PDF readers that you want it to open in. So if I tap open in, I'm just going to choose GoodNotes and open. And I can tap here on the download instructions and you can see you have a lot of information here to get a hold of me and connect with me. Uh, but this big green button in the middle of the screen that says take me to the folder is the button that you'll choose and say yes. And this is taking you to a Google Drive folder. And so this is how I'm delivering your files to you since they are fairly large. So if you're new to Google Drive, there's a few ways that you might choose to save these files. Um, the one that I would suggest is to tap the three dots next to the file name and choose open in. choose save to files and this is where I can choose the location that I want it saved I usually save things to my iCloud Drive so I can easily access them from my iPad and my Mac computer you can choose wherever you want to save it just remember where you saved it um, because that's where you'll be going back to to import it into GoodNotes so just tap save and then I would go through and complete that for each of the files 
don't rely on this download folder uh, to be here for you to download them in the future. Uh, download them all now, right when you purchase them so that you have them backed up on your end and can import them again at any time. So in this case, I'm gonna show you in GoodNotes. I open GoodNotes here and I have all of my documents and I just tap this new button. And here I have the option to import. And so this is gonna import a new PDF file. I tap import. And where I'm going here is um, on my iCloud drive. You just have to navigate to whatever drive you saved your files to. And if I'm in GoodNotes, the three main files I'm going to want to import. So one, my planner file. So you can see I have a Monday start and Sunday start version. Uh, just choose the planner file um, with, the, with the week start that you prefer to plan with. You'll only need to import the one that you prefer. In my case, I tend to plan with Sunday start. I'm gonna tap that file and it's gonna import for me. So that's my planner. Now I'm gonna head back to that home screen and there's a second file I need. Since I'm in GoodNotes, I'm going to tap import and you can see um, this is the goodnotes.zip sticker file. I'm going to tap on this file and it's going to import. You can see it, it um, placed the sticker book in here. And so this is that GoodNotes sticker book. Again, this only works in GoodNotes. I'll show you after this um, what you would do for your stickers if you're not a GoodNotes user. So then the last file that you might want to bring in, again, this is more optional, but if you like to use the decorative covers, you'll want to bring in the PDF that has all of the decorative covers. So tap New again, Import, and grab the alternate planner covers. And this is just a PDF of all of the alternate covers. These are essentially standalone pages that you will um, choose to copy. And tap here. And add page after. Paste page. And then if I go ahead and delete this, that becomes my new cover. And that's how you use the alternate covers. So that was a real crash course. I have a full video showing you how to use the alternate covers. But just so you know, that file is basically just a PDF of all of these decorative pages. And when I copy and paste these pages into my planner and make those pages the first page of my planner, it basically replaces the thumbnail, which is what we mean by planner covers. So it's a nice way to just add a little bit of interest uh, and be able to mix things up in your document view. So that's it for GoodNotes. If you're in GoodNotes, I now have my planner and I have my sticker book and I have my alternate, my alternate planner covers. Now the one thing that would be different if you're in another PDF markup app is that that sticker book will not function. It only works in GoodNotes. So if you're using another app, what you're going to do is you're going to use the pngimages.zip folder. If you're a GoodNotes user, you won't need that folder at all, but outside of GoodNotes, you'll basically have to insert each image individually. So if you choose to use those, my suggestion would be to uh, download it on a desktop computer, unzip them, organize them and figure out uh, which stickers you want to use and save them uh, to a cloud storage device. But another way you can do that if you just want to work on your iPad or your tablet, um, you could choose to unzip them with an app. On the iPad, iZip is an app that I often use. And so what you would do is go in your document browser grab those PNG image, that standard zip folder, 
and say, yes, I want to unzip that. And you will see all of those images here. And I can tap into any of these folders and um, choose to start saving them. So totally doable here on the iPad, but as you can see, there are a ton of stickers in here. Each of these are separate organized folders with all the stickers. So it might be easiest just to do this on a desktop computer, totally up to you. And that's really it, it's as, it's as simple as that. Uh, and now you've imported your planner and you're ready to get started with using it.